my name is Cash. I'm from a YouTube channel called Cloud Soldier. I hope you guys are all well. Um, I've started this new series, AZ104, which is an exam of Microsoft. And, and if you clear this exam or pass this exam, it will make you uh, a Azure administrator, which is quite uh, in need these days. And um, a lot of companies are looking for lots of cloud engineers. And in this exam, we'll be able to administer lots of services in Azure. Okay, going back to this video, in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect to a virtual machine, which we created in our last video. If you guys go back and see my video that I've shown you guys how to create a virtual machine in Azure portal. Um, if you remember that we created, we created a resource group called new-rg in the machine we created called test v01 uh, it takes about like four to five minutes um, to create this virtual machines comparing if you go back like when i started my it career like 20 25 years ago um, that takes used to take about like six to seven weeks so just to make a one virtual not virtual sorry a physical server by the time you implement in data center and all that oh that was too much but now technology change and we can create these virtual shared servers or virtual machines just a matter of click to your if you can see here um, this notification that told that tells you how, how much credit remaining if you don't have to worry about it. and i've started a virtual machine before but also it shows you here in my last video that how long it took and how long to create a machine okay now going back to our um, resource group which we created you can see all um, we can see that we can see all these resources created in this resource group new RG so we got virtual machines we got IP address we got network security groups we got virtual network that was the main most important part also without virtual network you, you should be we can't able to deploy IP address and public IP address and, and private IP address uh, this is a network interest card it was also created and this is the disk i've already duplicated this tab so we can see um, the virtual machine if you go back to our uh, virtual machines if we go back to home and if i click to virtual machines that gives you all my virtual machines so i've created lots of virtual machines you can see they are deallocated because i don't want to get charged so going back to machine what we created that was this one test vm 101 and just a quick overview of that um, this has been created in this resource group you can see that new rg stated it's running location is in uk south this is subscription i'm using and this is a subscription id the operating system we're using windows server 2019 if you remember that in the video we selected that and this is the size of the machine this is a public ip address but uh, in production we always avoid to assign public ip address because it is very vulnerable and and you can have like get hacked or something if you don't have a proper security deployed into this virtual machine which we come back later in the series but for a time being just for showing purpose if it's your personal virtual machine not using production so we can access via public ip address public ip address means that you can access this virtual machines anywhere in the world as far as you have internet access and tags we didn't apply any tags tags is for like costing purposes say for example in production you are uh, creating a virtual machine for example for it department or accounts department so you can um, isolate and build them accordingly these are a few of them the monitoring properties monitoring capabilities recommendation tutorials we'll come back later on to this as you can see that the private ip address which we select created with our virtual network it, it, it assigned this ip address but we are not using to access this machine. This is for like internal access. We will be using this IP address to access our machines. Also, and you can see that um, this is very handy. Somebody asks you which virtual network and what default subnet you're using. So you can tell that uh, we are using this VNet called test VM10 VNet and the subnet automatically we selected default one. 
this is size of the machine this is the ram you are using this is the uh, version as you can see and availability the scaling we didn't select anything it will come back we will we'll, we will discuss all these uh, services in our future deployment or our future video deployment you can say azure spot we didn't figure that this is like um, for setting up time for time limitation and everything on the left hand panel you can say if you go to networking uh, we can see that our nsg is created by default that's for inbound rules this is our network card name this is our public ip name uh, sorry address and this is our uh, private ip and as, as i discussed before um, this is the virtual network in the default net if we click that you can see uh, this is in the same uh, resource group and we have got this address space install slash 16 and uh, we can see the address space when we configured that in our first video and these are the connected devices the network this is a network card we, which i just showed you in our virtual machine it's connected to subnet if you go to subnets we can see this is a default server and this ip address has been assigned to our virtual machine bastion firewall all, all that resources will come back later it's not important at this stage uh, because i'm just showing you how to connect with the machine so going back to virtual machine uh, the machine we have this, this one test with one in in windows virtual machines uh we use rdp and you basically download download this rdp file and connect it and you can use your um, username and password that will connect to you but at, at this stage uh, what I have uh, because I'm using Mac and I will show you how to use uh, Mac to connect to this virtual machine so for example if I just quickly search for uh, my remote desktop app so this app Microsoft remote desktop you have to download from the app center so it will allow you to um, connect to these virtual machines from from this uh, app if, it, if i click this um, it should come up here yes it's coming up here as you can see all my other machines are here uh, one second if i just connect that all right sorry about that i had to pause the video um yes um i was about to show you how to connect to this virtual machine uh, using uh, mac computer i will show you first mac because i'm using mac and then afterwards i'll show you how to use a windows machine to connect to this virtual machine using rdb okay the machine we are trying to connect is test vm01 as you guys know it is in a running condition uh like i showed you earlier that we use using this software in mac which is called remote desktop it's a free you can download from um, app store um i've got also these set up a few virtual machines which i was accessing earlier or before but in, in our case um, as you can see that the IP address we'll be using 51105561271 just copy that from the clipboard and go back to our remote desktop uh, click add add PC and just right click and paste the host name or IP address and uh, just leave it as a default everything click add and you can see that we have added this virtual machine now double click that and the, if you guys remember that we used um, uh, the username we mentioned was azure user and the password is I'm not telling you that that's it uh, it will ask you for a certificate don't worry just ignore it continue and voila you can see that uh, just we don't want to see this message again just click that and cross that so we can see that we are remotely accessing this virtual machine uh, just to prove my point i can quickly show you here local servers and this is a test vm1 machine we are in a work group as you guys know work group is for personal use not like production or something if we are in a production we need to connect virtual machines to domains that's a different topic at the moment so we're just showing how to connect to this machine right so like you know guys you know guys how to connect to virtual machine using mac 
let's connect via virtual machine just pretend see the virtual machine this is a windows machine you're using if we go to there's a tool called remote desktop software in windows by default if you click start and just type search for remote desktop connection and this is in windows machine you connect that way so you type in computer name or ip address uh, but in this case because we're already accessing this machine so there's no we can't connect to something is already connected so we'll be choosing another machine so let's go over back to portal and see uh one of the machine i'm let's try this machine let's oh uh, it is stopped so as you can see for um, to avoid cost normally have a setup uh, scheduler like after 6 p.m. it stops the machine let's start this machine so you can see that the starting virtual machine you can see in the notification also starting this virtual machine uh, as soon as this machine come back uh, starts back I'll come back to you and pause on this machine for time being welcome back um, as you can see that machine has been started um, and the machine name is cash vm01 so what the purpose of starting this machine if you close this blade is to access this machine from a windows machine and the reason um, the, i'm using a virtual machine because i'm using a mac computer so if you go back to my original machine if you just go back to double click and you can see we can access this machine the one we just started by using this ip address I just forgot to take the IP address. Let's go back and check what was the IP address of this machine. So it was uh, 51 Just copy that. Go back to our remote desktop in Mac. Double click that and we just right click and paste. Connect. And I uh, hope I remember it was Azure user. And password is we thought I'm gonna tell this demo must be so lucky okay um, click OK same thing the way it asks a certificate in Mac but in Windows asking this so we can click that don't bother next time and click yes Wow so you can see that from a virtual machine I accessed another virtual machine so if you minimize this, so this is our cache VM01, just to prove my point, I can go to my prompt and command prompt and just say, come on, just start it, it's a bit slow. Okay, if I just uh, type it host name, and you can see that cache VM01. If I minimize this, I'm back to my original machine, test VM01. If I can do that again, command prompt and say Azure, sorry, uh, what was host name? That's it, test VM01. Right, so we know how to connect to a virtual machine using Mac computer and a Windows computer now. I hope you guys understood what I'm trying to say. Sorry, it was a little bit lengthy this video. I hope. Uh, try to make the concept very clear and uh, hopefully see you guys in my next video and of the series of AZ104 uh, please give me a thumbs up or if you like the video or if you have any suggestions and any question please uh, ping me via my comment section and have a nice day thank you very much